right. Happy Tuesday. Woo! We're going to be opening soon. Yeah, 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 yeah. So there's like conflicting propaganda out there. I won't call it propaganda, but on the on the on the New Jersey website yesterday, the thing that I, I sent to everyone literally said that phase two involves salons, barbershops, outdoor dining, uh, limited gyms and fitness centers and health clubs. And then there was another thing that like late last night said that gyms are gonna be in the third wave. But I don't think that we, in my heart, I don't think that we qualify as like a normal gym. We're not like a 24 seven fitness, Planet Fitness, New York Sports Club kind of thing. I think the fact that we're limiting our classes and we have the space to social distance, I think it's much safer to like come and work out here than to get your haircut. Yeah, we're not like a normal gym, we're like a cool gym. A cool gym. <laughs> you have to have a reservation to get into our gym. So that's exciting. So June 15th, tentative uh, reopening date. Um, if we hear anything other than that, we'll, we'll let you guys know, but start planning for uh, two Mondays from now, fitness back here. Booking ourselves into mind body. Yeah! yeah! Questions from Zoomland. They're frozen. Great. <laughs> All right. So today, uh, what are we doing today? We, we got a we got a quick little workout, kind of. Quick. Yeah. It's kind as, of. It's as quick as you make it. Yeah. So we have we have five rounds. Each individual round is four times. We have uh there they are they're back. Uh, we have fifteen toes to bar, and then we have 50? 50. 50. One five and then five zero. Fifteen toes to bar. Five zero double unders. If you don't have a place to do toes to bar, what are we doing today, Sarah? We're gonna do some ab stuff. I'm gonna angle the camera down. Situation: We take a crunch, you do it three times, and then you do a V up and do it once. So, so it feet up one. in the air. So you're gonna reach one, one two, two, three, down and up. That is one. One. You're gonna do that 20 times. That is your sub today. So 20, one, two, three up downs. And then if you do not have a jump rope today, we're gonna to be doing 50 jump hang jacks. And if you want to do jump rope work, but you don't have double unders, you're doing 100 single unders. Cool? Clear as yes. mud. Cool, awesome, all right. Let's go ahead and uh, start getting moving around. How are you feeling today? My, my legs are a little, a little heavy. heavy. A little heavy, yeah. Yeah, I felt that this morning. I can't wait to bring them up to a bar. I mean, 125 squats and then 100 uh, step ups, and then you did a bunch of squats with your psycho. So that's cool. All right, guys, let's, uh, Let's start by loosening up the legs here. So feet together. Let's go ahead and go up onto the toes, then rock it back on the heels, back and forth, just trying to stretch out the calves and stuff. Calves? Calves, yeah. calves and jump. All right, next up, let's do it unilaterally here. So go onto one foot and same thing, up onto your toe, then back. A little bit of balance, slipping in some slips work. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scaling, L-sit, inversion, plank, stretch. All right, go ahead and switch to the other side. Same thing, up on that toe, back on the heel, really wake up those calves. So we're all gonna feel a phenomenon today called my, I can't feel my legs, Arthur, or my legs feel really heavy, right? Double unders feel a lot different when your legs are tired. They also feel a lot different when your grip is tired, which you will also get to experience today. So much fun. Oh. All right, next up, both feet together. Let's go ahead and hop up and down, bunny hops. Three, two, one, let's go. Nice and light on those feet. What I want you guys to focus on here is bouncing through your calves and not just crashing down to the ground and using those quads, right? Use your calves, small muscle on me, big muscle on a lot of other people. Mine are small but mighty. Small got, I've, but mighty. I've got good jumping power, they're just not very big. All right, let's go front and back, front and back. And side to side. All right, and relax, cool. Everyone, next up, let's go ahead and lay down on the ground. I'm gonna move the camera down so you can see us. Skirt. All right, lay down on your booties, on your back. All right, so we're gonna practice the scale version, then we're gonna go into uh, some efficiency tips for our toes to bar, okay? So remember, one, two, three, up, downs. Everybody with me, go ahead and lay down flat on your back. Let's get our feet up in the air. All right, so movement standard, hands reaching in front of you, we're going to reach off the ground one, off the ground two, off the ground three, legs go down, and straight up. Let's do five of these. One, two, three, this counts as number two. If you get the first one, one, two, three, that's three. One, two, three. This is the last one, I think. I get it, that's not really good. And relax, okay? Does everybody understand that movement? That is your substitution today for toes to bar. If you don't have toes to bar, you're doing 20 of those. Cool. Should start to feel good around rep number 10. Alright, next up, we're gonna go to the rig. So if you have a place to hang, 
Go hang from it. I just need 10 scapular pull-ups. 10 scapular pull-ups. If you do not have a place to hang, chill for a second. You can do some shoulder circles. If you do not have a place to hang, loosen up those shoulders. Ooh, uh, oh, hello. What a nice little back crack there. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Ha. Pop, 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 pop. All right, guys, so toes to bar. For those of you doing toes to bar, toes to rings, or something, um, the kick chamber kick method is, I think, the most efficient way to do it. You can do that beautiful, long, maintain your hollow position every time if you're super flexible and you have a very strong midline. However, the kick chamber kick method is just a little bit faster. I'm gonna do a couple, then I'm gonna go down onto the ground and we'll practice, okay? So, kick, chamber, kick, kick, chamber, kick, kick, chamber, kick, all right? So, I'll bring the cameras down to the floor again. Lay down with me. Let's take a little nap here. All right, guys, so the trampoline method, we should all know this, anyone who's uh, been doing CrossFit with me for a while. So for these guys, you're going to kick, chamber, kick, chamber, kick, chamber, kick, right? Imagine there's a trampoline here and a trampoline here so your legs never get caught up. Everyone give me five of these fast. So kick, chip, kick one, two. If your butt comes off the ground, that means you're doing it right. Right, cool. Now, if you're someone who's doing toes to bar, I want you to hop up on the ring and, or on the rig or whatever you have and just try to do five of those repetitions. Five reps. Let's go, Meg. Let's see how she's doing there. Speed. Yeah, Meg. There we go. Nice. Those of you at home, you can give me five more. One, two, three up downs if you don't have a rig. Let's see Sarah do it here from the side. Right there. So notice how she's chambering her knees every time. Bring those knees in. Beautifully efficient. So great. You guys gotta you guys gonna be so good at home. Alright, cool. Everybody got it? Next up, let's grab our jump ropes, wherever they may be. Maybe we can get a couple of practice reps in. Just a couple. Like three. Three double unders. I want everybody, if you have a jump rope, everyone just uh, give me like ten double unders. If you don't have a jump rope, give me ten jumping jets. That's nice, Meg. So remember guys. Jumping jacks is our sub today for double unders. Bunny hops will not get that same stimulus we're looking for in terms of working the shoulders and fatiguing your legs at the same time. Crossfit. All right. So here's how today works. Five rounds each for time and you get a full minute of rest in between. If you are someone at home, if you cannot physically see our clock, I would recommend having a little stopwatch next to you just so that you can time this a little more accurately. Same thing goes to you guys. I know that our clock can be a little bit difficult to see, um, so I would recommend having a timer with you. I'm gonna go grab a couple of whiteboards because we need to keep track of every single round. When you guys log us and find my wad today, score number one is going to be your fastest round. Score number two, your slowest round. All right, so we're just gonna see what the variance in there. Um, obviously, we're trying to be relatively consistent, but uh, you're gonna find that your lactate threshold in your midline at a certain point is gonna say, I don't wanna party anymore. And those toes to bar, that first round, you might be able to go in broken, second round, maybe third, fourth, and fifth, your abs might not wanna play anymore. Cool, I'm gonna go grab some whiteboards. Sarah, talk about stuff. Ooh, uh, what, TED, what TED talk would we like to have today? Or, or we might, you know, it might just be that the uh, double unders go very poorly one of the rounds. It may have nothing to do with your lactate threshold. You just might have a sh bad time one time, maybe four times, I don't know. I hope not, I hope not. <laughs> I think more than likely I'll have one round that will be really interesting. That's all right, that's all right. Here we go, doctor. Thank you, doctor. Oops, oh, doctor. Oops, doctor. That one. I'll, take the, I'll take the trash pen. Oh. The trash pen. All right guys, so remember, you're keeping track of every single round. Goals get each round done fast as fast as possible. Um, a couple of efficiency tips. Anyone who's done a workout, think about the overall volume, right? We're doing a total of 75 double unders or 100 one, two, three up downs. It may be tempting in the very beginning to do all 15 unbroken or all 20 unbroken very, very fast. That might come to bite you in the booty at the end of the workout, right? We're doing a total of 75. If you have not done a total of 75 toes of bar in a workout before, your body's gonna feel a certain kind of way. It might behoove you to break up your toes to bar into sets of five. Your round will not be as fast, but I think it will minimize the fall off, right? Like I think if you're super fast, you can finish 
15 plus 50 in under a minute if you're very efficient. But if your toes to bar start to fall apart, that can turn into a minute and a half, maybe even two minutes on the longer end, okay? So if you're conservative from the beginning, break up your toes to bar, then you'll be all right. Maybe five, 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 or maybe eight, seven. Live your life. There's no wrong way to do it. I'm probably gonna go unbroken for the first couple sets and then uh, try to survive, so. See what happens. See what happens. I mean, now's, now's kind of the time to do it, right? When you're in training, it's not a competition. Figure out what your body can do. So it's not a good, it's not a bad idea to sometimes oh, push yourself. Come back, failure. Zoomers. The Zoomers fell apart from They're us. They're coming back. They're back. We're going to be muted. Technology is my favorite drug. <laughs> Ding dong. All right. Sorry we lost you there. Once again, Zoomers, because our uh, connection is being janky today, Highly recommend you having your own clock at home in case that happens in the middle of your rounds. You don't want to do it. So you guys are going to be kind of working on your own. Um, it's finish your round as quickly as you can. Rest exactly one minute. So I finished my first round in 90 seconds. I'm going to rest until the two, minute, two and a half minute mark and then pick up again. All right. If you don't feel like doing too much math, I would recommend just writing down the time that you finish each round, if that makes sense. And then you can reverse engineer the math based on when you started the one before. Make sense? Yeah. Hashtag math. All right. Hashtag Everybody in the club good? I'm going to put some chalk cane on my fingers. Yeah. All right. Mochalk. My jump rope keeps tangling up. It's going to really ruin my time. It's fine. All right. Ladies, tie your hair. Also, gentlemen, if you have long hair. I don't know. My tie man your hair bun. back. Let my man bun it home. Oh. All right. Let's do it. See you guys in a few minutes. We'll talk to you in between rounds. Five, four, three, two. Nice there. Whew. Push the camera back a little bit so we get more space to do our dubs. Nice there. <laughs> yes, they do. You got it, guys. Remember, once you finish that first round, get the rest.
Go guys.
Let's go guys. You gotta go breathe. Whew. Nice mag on those toes, the rings. Looking like an athlete. Let's go. Nice mag. Keep it up, keep it up. Woo. Beautiful toes, the rings. Let's go. Keep it up, guys. You're doing great. Go, go, go. We are 11 minutes into the entire workout. Let's go, let's go. Come on, Sarah. Breathe, girl. Woo! Yes. Come on, girl. Woo! That's it. Yeah! All right, those of you at home, you got like a minute to get everything done, maybe two. We'll hang out for a bit. If you're done, relax for a second, catch your breath. Wipe off your brow. Let's kick your shoes off. Get you in. Let's go. Let's go, Chin. That's it, girl. Go, 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 go. 12 minutes in for the athletes at home. Let's go, guys. Awesome. Meg, don't log your score yet if you're done. I'm going to add a component in Find My Wad for just your overall time it took to finish. So don't log your score yet. I just I just thought of it right now. So, okay. you're fine, you're fine. I, th I think you're just putting probably for the fastest and the slowest. That's all I asked. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Let's go finish it up. We're gonna give you guys another uh, 90 or so seconds. Come on, guys. Let's go, let's go, let's go. You got this. Let's work, let's work. If you're at home and your forearms are feeling a little bit junky and you wanna prematurely start your stretch before we all do it together, go ahead and find a spot on the floor and we're just going to uh, sit back. I'll show you guys here on the ground. All we're gonna do is sit into a tabletop position. We're just gonna start taking care of those forearms. So you want your Fingers facing toward you, all right? Then I'm just going to physically sit back until I feel a nice stretch. You should feel it almost immediately. Your goal here, try to keep your forearms, I'm sorry, try to keep your palms on the ground. Try not to let them come up, right? It's very easy to lean back and have those palms come up, but for the purpose of the stretch here, try to keep those palms planted on the ground and then lean back as far as you can. So hang out for like five seconds. Then you're gonna release it for two seconds. Then come right back down, sit down into it for about 10 seconds here. Just breathing, feeling those forearms. And release that pressure for about five seconds. Then we're gonna come down for a big one for about 15 seconds here. And let's lean into it, sit on back, feel the feels. Oh, hello. So guys, just feel the feels. Oh yeah. All right guys, we're 14 minutes in. 
Hopefully everyone at home is done or close to being done. If not, we're gonna finish it. Finish it. Let's go. <laughs> we'll give you guys until 15 to finish completely. Let's go, guys. Keep working. Keep working. Those of you at home who are stretching along with me from here, just go ahead and sit onto your ankles. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and do some little wrist circles here. So you can have an, a kind of a, a, a relaxed fist, and we're just gonna rotate the wrist to the outside, making some nice big circles here. 30 more seconds for the folks at home to finish it off. Let's go, guys. Let's go. And let's switch directions. So rotating inward. All right. That's it. 15 more seconds for the athletes at home. We'll let Chin finish on, off her guys. round. Chin's on that last round. Let's go, girl. Finish it off. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, guys. All right, we are 15 minutes in. Finish off the round that you're on. Then we'll call it for the day. Then we will all start our stretch together. Once again, if you're done, go ahead and kick your shoes off. Find a spot on the floor, and we'll all do a nice big stretch together here. Give you guys one more minute to finish the workout. We are currently at 15 minutes and 15 seconds. Once again, guys, today in Find My Wad, you're going to, nice job, Chin. You're going to note your fastest round, your slowest round, and then the overall time it took you to finish everything in the whole workout. Cool? Cool. All right, guys, so for those of us who just joined us in our stretching party here, uh, let's go ahead and do what we just did. We're just gonna speed it up a little bit. So everyone sitting on the toes here or on the ankles, palms facing the ground, fingers facing towards you. We are just going to physically sit back until we feel a nice stretch of those forearms, trying to keep the palms planted on the ground. Hopefully Kelly Clarkson doesn't sue us for using her music. <laughs> we do not own the rights to Kelly Clarkson, Miss Independent, but we, but we love her so much. All right, guys, go ahead and relax. Take that tension off. Breathe for a second, and then three, two, one. What's up, Argus? Back into the stretchy. Back into the stretchy, stretchy. Feel those forearms. Mine are saying hello. I'm still feeling it from those uh, farmer's carries on Friday. Yeah. That's uh, that thick grip. Yeah. Yeah, like all weekend. I was like, ugh. <laughs> All right, guys, go ahead and relax. Next up, let's do some wrist circles. So rotate to the outside. Feels nice. And switch directions. Shake it like a salt shaker. All right, go ahead and relax. Next up, let's mash our forearms. Uh, so let's go ahead and put your right forearm down on the ground, our left. We're gonna start up by the knee, and then we're gonna slowly work our way down toward your hand, all right? You can clench and unclench that bottom fist to get a little bit deeper in that stretch. Oh, this feels nice. Uh. Yeah, once you get close to the uh, wrist there, hang out for a few seconds. Feel the feels. Three, two, one. Let's go ahead and switch to the other side, same thing. So your left, our right, start by the elbow and let's twerk our way down towards the wrist. Ooh. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's nice. Remember, when you get down to that forearm wrist, just below your uh, hand, hang out, taking the sights. Ooh. And relaxy, taxi. Uh, let's go ahead and hit those calves really quickly. So let's make this an easy one for us today. Um, if you happen to have a an object that you can put your foot up against, like a rig or a wall, I think most of us have walls, right? So for these. Just find your wall, wherever it might be. Put your toe as high as it will go. And we're just going to lean into it here. Feeling a nice stretch of that calf muscle. There you go. In five seconds here, we're going to release and then try to get a little bit closer. All right, three, two, one, release. Walk your heel a little bit closer and reassume that stretch. That's it. And let's go one more time. Reposition that foot and get as close as your physics will allow. Oh yes, oh yes. Three, two, one, relax. Other side, same thing. Start at a casually comfortable angle. Lean into it, breathe. All right guys, reposition that foot and get a little bit deeper, let's go. All right guys, 
one more time. Get that ankle as close as you can. Lean into it here, feel that stretch. Five more seconds here, guys. Four, three, two, relax. All right, guys, let's pay some bills. Let's just do two stripper deadlifts today. Press into the floor, slow roll it up. Emphasize those calves when you get to this part here. Slow roll it up. Uno mas. Boop. Oh, twerk it. Yeah. All right, guys, you know what to do. Bottom of a squat, right hand down, left hand up, reaching for the sky. Oh, hello, traps and lats. Landing on the neck from the handstand push-ups. Starting to feel today. <laughs> and switch. And last time, switch. Both hands go up. Three, two, one. Stand it up. All right. Yeah. Awesome job, everyone. You guys did great today. Hope you had a great day. We miss you. Hope to see you guys uh, in a couple weeks. Yeah. Awesome Thank job, guys. Work. Stay tuned for updates. Have a wonderful day. See you later. Bye. 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 I didn't say end. Bye.